Hey guys, it's Tamara Sinman with TheInventDegree.com and uh, I had the most interesting thing this morning. It was hilarious, but it reminded me of a part of me that I have forgotten about, that I've maybe blocked, that I've, uh, I'm just not allowing to be out and it's just so important. And it was my niece. She walked by. She's nine years old. She's a little cowgirl. She reminds me of myself and she walks by and she looks at her brother and she says, don't tell the bus driver I'm wearing spurs. And then she clicks out with her spurs on her cowboy boots and get in the truck to go to school. And I thought, oh my gosh. That used to be me, that little girl that was bold and brave and tenacious and didn't give a rat's ass what anybody else thought about her. And you know what? I think I am that person, but that girl that I was, that she is, whole different level of that. And I realized, why am I denying my essential self that bit inside of me? That. And so this is a really huge tool. And I actually teach this to people all the time, but seeing it in front of me was such a fun one to realize, oh yeah, I'm not there yet. So I encourage you to think back to times when you were a child, when children take play as serious business. That's what they do, right? They they go after what they want. They actually throw temper tantrums when they don't get what they want. Sorry, my dog's making a cameo again today. but. It's something to be said for that, right? And so I really encourage you, go back to times when you were a kid, and it doesn't have to be big things, it's funny little things like that. Like today, where I said, oh yeah, that was me. What happened to that girl, right? And I want you to go back and find a theme. What were those things you were really good at? What were those things that you just asked for and you think, now I would never be that bold or that tenacious? Um, what were the things you loved to do? Where did you go? What were the things you did? Were you creative? Were you sportsy? What were you before life started to tell you what you were gonna be or what you shouldn't be? And so go back to those. Remember those things you used to like to say. Remember how people described you in really, you know, ways that you'd think now, wow, I'm not bold or I'm not brave or I'm not outgoing or, you know, or what are the things that you're labeling yourself that you realize that's actually not me. A friend of mine said last week that she had always said that she, um, what was the word? It was kind of uh, anxious, something like that. And then she realized, wait, 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 I haven't had anxiety my whole life. That's an adult block. That's an adult thing, but that's not who I am. Kids know at a really base level who their essential self are, who they are, and where their gifts are in the world, and what they want, and they do that. And so I really encourage you to think back. What are those things? What are those characteristics? What are those? Because those are really good key themes, really good, good key indicators at your essential self screaming together get out. And when you allow that to get out, you move closer to your calling. You start attracting a path of least resistance. You start building a life that you actually want to live and that you can't wait to wake up every day from. And in that, I guarantee there's going to be some blocks. Of course there is. As children, we come out whole brained. As we hear, no, 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 you're not good enough. You're not, you know, you're not this, you're not, you're not, you're not. We get away from it. And so the step to releasing that, the step to freedom is just number one is awareness. So I encourage you to step into that awareness and see, okay, so what, who is that person? Where's that person gone? And what am I going to do about it? So have fun with it. Don't tell the bus driver I'm wearing my spurs. Have a great day.